Hey, we're back. And I can't believe I found the door. It was right down there. It was the other door. Oh, I'm so sorry, everybody. Oh, that is terrible. Uh, I'll try not to do that again. It's just... I didn't know he said zip line out. I would assume going up, not through a door to the other side. Just, oh boy, that sucks. If there's more of that to this game, like where I get lost, I'm going to hate this. But it's my own fault. So let's hear it with Alfred and stuff. We need to take a look at the final offer. Going to some docs. They'll find Slade Wilson. Okay. So yeah, now we gotta go investigate a crime scene. And people say it's Black Mask. Which is weird. Is this how you get out? Ugh. God, no blockage. Just let me out. I swear to God. Are they on my map? I don't see the bomb. Trash. Okay, let's just go. First, take out this guy. Because he's evil. Justice. God, I gotta punch some people for a bit. Just, oh, I hate that. Getting lost and stuff. Jesus. Just breaking people's arms and legs make me feel better. Besides their baddies. Hammers of justice. There we go. Alright, let's get over to this plaza. Or whatever. And get to the crime scene. Hi. Ha, bye. Apparently, Bagel's 
check something. Is it, like, right next to my mission? This drop-off point? Like, where is my objective? It's right there. Let's go. Get there fast. Ah! That'll help. Alright, there we go. Oh, that's cool. Cops investigating this crime should have a relay station set up. It'll look like a mobile satellite dish, probably on a rooftop. learned every move every everywhere you know even sorry officers I got business to attend to now we can listen in on the cops Rubio what's your 20 on the balcony for a smoke with a menace there we go there's men on the balcony that could be my way in Oh, good for you. Good night. Alright. I, I probably could have just left him alone. Or it would have said secure the area. Whatever. Just looking around. Alright. Got the place all nice and taped up. Time to go investigate. And I like my capes all torn up from Deathstroke. The police believe Penguin murdered Black Mask. But why would he send me here if he was the killer? It doesn't add up. Alright, here you go. What you got in your hands? This crime took place days ago. The fire and the exposure to the elements make identifying the victims difficult. The male victim is wearing a black mask, but I can't positively identify him as Roman Sionis without a DNA analysis. Something I can't do in the field. I can identify the female victim based on her fingerprints. Tiffany Ambrose, Roman Sionis' girlfriend. She looks like a toy! She was no angel, long list of priors, but nothing to indicate she was the target here. Jeez. But still, she looks like a doll Fire instead of... As a result of a Molotov cocktail thrown into the room. She looks... Yeah, she looks like a doll. Intended to destroy evidence. Okay. Yeah. So, they're saying Penguin might have done this. Let's scan. The trajectory of the bullet suggests the shooter could be someone of Penguin's height. But the grooves on the floor suggest that the victim was killed by someone leaning back in a chair. Interesting. Scan the bullet her. Was fired from a revolver. Ballistics analysis indicates a low angle of trajectory. The shooter could have been someone of Penguin's height. But the pattern in the gunpowder residue suggests the bullet was actually fired by someone lying on the ground. Even who hung her up there? Did the killer? 
What the heck? All right, scan those. These fingerprints are Blood. a match for the penguin, but they're on top of the soot from the fire. If the cops were right, the penguin was in the room, but these prints prove he was here after the murders were committed. If he didn't kill Black Mask, who did? The only thing I know for certain is that Tiffany Shooter was lying on the floor. But why? To make it look like he These looks like the penguin? Or shoe polish. Whoever shot Tiffany was being dragged along the floor. Besides the victims, there were two other people in the room. Tiffany Shooter and whoever was dragging the shooter. The location from which the male victim was shot may tell me more. The DNA here doesn't belong to either of the victims. Whose is it? I don't know. Jesus is madness. The broke out when someone started the shooter. It's not clear who won the fight. Could have been either one of them. Ah. I should review the evidence to see if I can learn anything more about either the intruder or the shooter. Intruder or the shooter? Oh, we got something here. Fabric analysis indicates the intruder was wearing a white suit or sport jacket. This fabric swatch could help identify the intruder, but I still can't identify the male victim's shooter. There's one impact area I haven't checked for clues. Oh, there. Okay. I was about to say, where? I'm like, okay, here. Oh, the DNA is from the female victim. The level of oxidation suggests it's been here for several days. Okay. If I review the evidence, I may be able to find out what she was doing when she was attacked. Oh. There it is. Whatever fell. What is this? A cell phone. She was trying to call somebody. She was sending text messages to Roman Sionis about someone named the Joker. Oh, crap. Someone killed Black Mask. But this crime took place several days ago. And I saw Black Mask earlier tonight. The answers I have raise more questions. Who is the Joker? Was he the killer here? Or is he one of the assassins? Mm -hmm. I have a body, an unknown shooter, and an unknown assailant who attacked the shooter. That'd be the Joker DNA sitting there. The records the records in the National Criminal Database to identify who was in the room. Alfred, I need access to the National Criminal Database. Well, the only way to do that would be to infiltrate the Gotham City Police Department. Then that's where I'm going. Sir, you'd need to physically hack into their servers. Not a bad idea. <laughs> Nobody that matters. All right. Cool. That was cool. Like so much crap was going on there. Oh hey. Have a nice nap. <laughs> I just walk out. <laughs> Not caring what just happened. Alright, so... Can I just... Come in, so can I just... Choose my map and just go to right to the Batcave? What is this? Blackgate Prison? Where's the Batcave? Here it is. Just go right there. And get my cluster thingy. And then we're gonna break into the uh, the GCPD, and we're probably gonna run into Gordon and stuff. I'm gonna grab the gadget and then end this part. And I hope you all enjoyed. Just let me go get the gadget first. Welcome home, sir. Hello. The concussion detonator is on your workbench. 
Remember, if you use that instead of your fists, you'll do less lasting damage to those police officers and civil servants. Noted. Noted. Thank you. What, what was that? Bat suit what? Bat suit chamber. Oh, this is where you would change your costumes, but unfortunately I don't have any. God! I want costumes. Like beyond or something. Alright, let me get my gadget. Here we are. So what does this do? Is it, it confuses enemies? Uh, cushion detonator. Okay, don't tell me what it does. Thanks. All right. Uh, before we go, let's uh, talk to Alfred. Well played, sir. You struck the electrocutioner with a single strike. <laughs> this area is to my advantage. The textbook move a child could have avoided. True, but I doubt the rest of them will view down as easily. If they do, we'll be eating that Christmas ham sooner than you think. <laughs> well, this has been Batman Arkham Origins, and I will be back with more Arkham Origins next time, so stay tuned.